Hi everyone, it's Andy. Welcome to my week 39 slash 40 roundup. Uh, time got away with me last week, so I didn't really have time to do a uh, update video last week, but I put on a pound and a half last week, and I think, again, that was purely down to not eating enough speed, not drinking enough water. Uh, I don't think I went over on my sins. Maybe I did. I must have done something, otherwise I wouldn't have had a gain. So, but I think definitely one of the main factors was not enough speed and not enough water. So I corrected that this week. Uh, ate more speed, drank more water, and ta-da! three pounds off this week so that takes my total loss to four stone ten which has got me back uh, knocking on the door of five stone again which is great because I seem to have this mental block as I get close to five stone something happens it's like it's like I don't know I go nuts and and I can't get past this five stone so I'm so I'm, I really need to get past this five stone so I think once I get past that I'll be rocking and I'm not sure what it is that's stopping me it's obviously some kind of mental block or something but I really just need to get that certificate or, or you know it's not even about the certificate I just need to get that five stone written in my book and then get past that and move on so so yeah that's where I'm, my, my short term goal, my short term fo focus now is just getting past that five stone and, and just getting that out of the way. And uh, I think once I can get over that little hump, uh, I'm going to be sorted. Uh, I had some really positive reactions to the video I did about Channel 4 Super Slimmers program, which is great. Uh, you know, I just wanted to just get some positivity out there and uh, and just keep people focused because, like I said, I was just upset that a lot of people were, were, were taking that program so negatively and... Uh, and I've had some great comments and some have been constructive and some have uh, agreed with parts of the program, some have flat disagreed with it and that's great but, but the thing is the most important thing is that we're talking about it and we're getting refocused because Slimming World's not a crash plan, it's a plan for life. And I, and I did want to do some research, but I made that video when I was kind of like so angry. Uh, I just wanted to do it and just get it done while I was thinking about all this stuff in my head. Uh, but if you haven't checked it out yet, go and uh, search way in time uh patrick patrick harry's he made a good video he obviously you know let himself simmer down a little while did some research and he's made an awesome video uh, about the same subject and uh, and the great thing is that like i said there's the more people that talk about it and 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 keep people focused on slimming world and their journeys and uh the better so it's a great video so go and check it out i'll put all of patrick's links below this video but definitely uh, and check his videos out anyway he's really really good he doesn't need any help from me he's doing all right on his own he's got a lot of followers already but uh if you don't if if by some chance you don't follow him uh go and check him out he makes some really really cool videos and uh, tell him i sent you uh, so what have I done this week? I've got some new things to try. I'm going to make these scotch eggs if it kills me. I keep saying I'm going to make scotch eggs and I never get round to it. I've got to make scotch eggs. So I've got the Linda McCartney rosemary and red onion sausages. I'm good to go. Got eggs. I'm going to wrap them in bacon and then I'm probably going to maybe put some barbecue rub or something around the outside. I don't know. Curry powder. I don't know. Anything. Just to make them a little bit more interesting. So um, I'm going to definitely make those because I think they'll just be a really good snack just to put in the fridge and then just go in them for lunch or later on at night if you're watching your favorite tv programs or a film or something a little scotch egg so uh <coughs> definitely got to make those then i've been thinking about uh, i've been thinking about for some time kind of like cutting back a little bit on carbs not necessarily getting rid of them altogether but making some substitutions uh to replace carbs with more speed food so my fiance went out today and she's great my fiance she's always looking for things that i can't find so she managed today to find me some uh chocolate and caramel fiber one bars uh the salty caramel because i only ever found the lemon ones and they are properly rank they're not nice at all i'm just gonna probably give them away to someone at my group that likes them because I, I don't like them uh, I was disappointed in the size of them I think I said that before when I got the lemon ones but then for four sins what can you really expect uh, but I had a salted caramel one earlier on with a cup of coffee and it is really tasty and a little bite uh, she tried one of the chocolate ones and I had a little bite of that it was pretty good so I can see why people bosh them in the microwave a little bit of squirty cream on top I get it so I'm going to give that a whirl but yeah so the chocolate and the salted caramel are much better than the lemon but I think <coughs> they're pretty pricey for what they are and I don't think it's something that I'd buy every week because uh, I think there's for, for the money they cost there's some better things that you can buy that will get you the same result if you if you fancy something sweet uh, but 
I like them, you know, those, those two seem perfectly fine to me, so I, I like them. She managed to get me some cauliflower rice as well, which is, uh, this is the thing I want to try. I want to start trying to uh, swap out some carbs for speed food, so maybe try and cauliflower rice. Someone mentioned me you can buy broccoli rice. Uh, I want to try courgette, you know, those kind of things. Uh, so I put a couple of Facebook posts out about cauliflower rice. I said, is it a win or is it a waste of time? Most people generally say it's a win, and some people gave me some really good ideas. I'd spoken to my consultant about it, and she said that she puts it in the oven because she doesn't want it to be soggy. So she said that she puts it on a, on a baking tray, sprays it with fry light, cooks it, so, so it's not burnt. You just want it to be a little bit crispy. And then she said when, when it's kind of like browned on one side, she uh, flips it over, gives it a little stir, and continues to do it. And then she said it kind of goes a bit crunchy, and it adds a texture. And she said, you know, the best thing to do is put it on the side. So if, for instance, you're having it with a curry or chili or something, don't put it on the plate like you would rice, and then bosh your curry or your chili on top because it just turns to mush. So she said put it on the side and then it won't go all mushy. Uh, another lady came up with a great idea and I'm so gonna try this, a lady on Facebook. I wish I could remember her name. Uh, she said that she makes uh, egg fried rice with it. So she said she gets cauliflower rice and the eggs obviously and puts in a ton of soy sauce and spices and stuff and some vegetables and fries it all up in the wok and as it is like an egg fried rice thing and puts some you know little crispy bits of meat in there and I was like, that sounds so good. So I'm definitely gonna try that, that sounds awesome. Uh, one of the things I wanna look into, and I must ask my consultant, because it, it hasn't got anything in it that, would, that wouldn't make it free. I really wanna try uh, kimchi. Because a lot of people have said about kimchi, uh, it's like fermented cabbage. So, uh, and obviously fermented food, there's a whole thing about fermented food being good for you and stuff like sauerkraut and all that kind of stuff. But, but kimchi is really tasty. It's really, it's really strong, and they don't suggest you know opening it up and then putting it in your fridge because everything in your fridge will stink of kimchi. Uh, but up, up the road from me, I've got like a big Chinese market. And I think they sell kimchi there, so I want to try and get it. Uh, and I'm going to see if it's free, and I'm going to try it. Because, again, kimchi is the kind of thing that you can add to fried rice and stuff. And it tastes really, really, really nice, apparently. And it's super good for you, by all accounts. So I just want to check in and see if it's free. And if I get my hands on some, and I, and I taste it, and it's as awesome as, as I think it's going to be, I'll share it with you. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try some cauliflower rice. I'm going to look for some broccoli rice. I'm going to try and get some spaghetti. Courgette. I've got to go to Sainsbury's because this is where people are getting all this butternut squash stuff. I did try squaffles, they were nice, but I want to get some of the uh, butternut squash crinkle chips and the butternut squash lasagna sheets because my, my consultant posted up in our in our Facebook group this awesome like breakfast thing where she put layers of butternut squash and there was baked beans and there was onions and tomatoes and then she mixed like quark with an egg and stuff and put that on top and boshed it in the oven and like it comes out, it's a similar consistency, I guess, to crustless quiche, but it looked so good. So I really want to give that a go. Uh, I found some really good recipes recently, and just doing Insta Lives and, and chatting to people on Facebook, it's, it's a great way to find out new stuff and to get recipe ideas. And people just, you know, in conversation, they just throw things out there. And it's sometimes, you know, in amongst all that chat, you find some really, really, you know, some gold and you think, oh, I'm so gonna try that. And um, a couple of people have sent me screenshots of recipes and stuff. And uh, so, you know, it's it's a great thing to do. So get involved, you know, if people are on Instagram live and they're talking about food, get on there and talk about it, you know, because you will get some really, really good ideas. So yeah, so I'm gonna try some new things, try and substitute out some carbs for some speed and see how that works. Uh, my mini goal is to now just get over this five stone thing and, and crack on and get past it, which, I, which I, I know I can do. So yeah, and I'm putting together a, a giveaway for Instagram uh, for three and a half thousand, which I'm not far away from. All kinds of stuff going there, I'm giving away. Um, there's a mug, there's some uh, Oreo thins, some JD Spices, some Spice and Tice. There's, there's all kinds of stuff, and I'm gonna start posting stuff on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, come and follow me, all my links are gonna be below. But thank you to everyone that's taken the time to push the subscribe button on, on here, or follow me on Instagram. I'm you know, 560 odd something now on YouTube, knocking on the door of three and a half thousand on Instagram, which is just amazing. It's overwhelming that so many people would come and, and share some time with me, which is great. And 
like I always say, tell me about your journey. I'm, I'm, I'm as interested to find out about you as you are to kind of share some time with me. So, so yeah, and uh, that's about it for this week. So hopefully it's going to be a great week moving forward. I'm going to try some new things and uh, see what happens and uh, get over this five stone. So drop some comments below. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how you did this week. If you've yet to go on the scales, good luck. Um, if the scales were kind to you this week, well done. If they weren't so kind... We say it every week, just you know, get back on the, on the, on the road and keep pushing forward, and uh, you'll you'll get there because it is possible for us all to achieve our goals. Uh, one thing I learned from Patrick: if you do subscribe to me, if you next to the subscribe button, click on that little bell. I didn't know that was a, it's how thick I am. I didn't know that's the notification bell. So uh, if you push on that, it will notify you every time I upload a video, which is great if you uh, if you want to catch my new videos. So that's it. Be nice to each other, people. Life is always worth living. And until I see you again, have a great week. See ya.